<clears throat> all right guys well thank you guys for throwing in all your questions i'm so happy we're gonna get through these right now okay liana brown vip facebook member uh, my husband is trying to adjust my status here in the u.s but we have kids back home in jamaica he makes about 25 to thirty thousand per year will that be uh enough to sponsor all three of us or do we need an affidavit of support for some from someone you don't need an affidavit of support from someone else also, do I need a passport photo, uh, photo for filing for the kids? You need a pass. No, they they will if they're doing their adjustments here. Uh, they, the, the biometrics. Husband, you, yeah. don't, you don't submit passport photos anymore. The biometrics take care of it if you're adjusting here. Okay, uh, Angelique Whitaker, a Facebook VIP member. What happens after I one thirty is approved for a stepchild below the age of eighteen years old living abroad? It goes to the National Visa Center and you process for affidavits of support, pay the uh, fees to the National Visa Center, and eventually, after you get through that process, goes to the U.S. Embassy for that child to come to America. Anna Lee Parker on Facebook. My friend just checked her USCIS online account and saw that her I-130 and I-45 were denied due to the Adam Walsh Act. What can she do? Um, she has to file a waiver for the Adam Walsh Act. She's married to somebody who's been convicted of a sex offense against a minor so because of that she has to prove that her life is not in danger living with someone who's on the sex registry list and that is the reason for the adam walsh waiver yvonne stewart on facebook i would like to know how long it takes for a daughter to file for her mother the daughter is a citizen in the usa uh a daughter filing for her mother is about a year and a half a year for adjustment Niak uh, on Facebook just checked on my case and saw a summary of information stating that due to numerical error on immigrant visa insurance, the petition is not eligible for per uh, further processing. Can you explain this a little for me? I've been waiting for almost 10 years now and I'm a married child, unmarried child of a U.S. citizen. What, what did you see online? Uh, the, a summary of inf information stating due to numerical error on immigrant visa insurance, the petition is not av available or eligible for further processing. Well, maybe maybe the visa numbers haven't been reached yet. Okay, uh, they said they're an unmarried child of a U.S. citizen. I don't know what you're doing wrong. You would need to have a consultation. Yeah. Then. yeah. Andrew Richards on YouTube. I have a 20 year bar. Uh, it has been 18 years since I was deported. Is there any way for me to come back? after 20 years. Anushandra on YouTube is EAD 3 or uh, 630 ex-spouse of H1B called overstay. It's a new thing. Do you think we can apply for a travel permit with this? If, no. EAD C30. No. It's a work permit. It's not a travel. It's not for advanced parole. Marie Maxwell on Facebook. Can a young man who came into the US at age 18 become a naturalized citizen without signing up for mm. a selective service? Um, in, when these five years after the 26th birthday, which would be 32 years old, or if he can prove he didn't, he wasn't aware that he had to do it. You're really good. Thank you. Yes. Yvonne Alexis. You, like, you uh, think I'm really good. Yes. You just realized that. Well, no, I knew that, but like, we've never had that question. Uh -huh. And like, I saw you had to, you know, go, to go into the bank. I had to calculate yeah. in my head. Yes. Yeah. That's really good. Thank you. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Yvonne Alexis on YouTube. EAD without AP better than my shirt. Uh -huh. uh, EAD without <laughs> AP. I feel bad. I mean, your shirt's not that bad. I, I made your shirt out like it was awful. It's not that bad. But I've seen better. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yvonne Alexis on YouTube. EAD without AP. How long will my AP take? Just got my EAD after waiting for eight months, but I AP didn't get the combo card. another six months. Okay, share, share on YouTube. If I'm in removal, but married to a U.S. citizen and already filed an I-130, can I pick up and drop off my unaccompanied minor from, coming from Jamaica from the air hostess? Yes. Marie Maxwell on Facebook, a friend's ch uh, child's work or a friend's child's paperwork has been at NVC for two years. The child is in Jamaica and he will be 19 this summer. She's wondering if he'll age out. If so, what can she do? I don't know who's sponsoring the child. She should speak to a lawyer. Rosemary Barnes on YouTube. After uploading documents to NVC SEAC website, like your police record, uh, will they request you to uh, request you do your interview over because of the long wait? Probably. 
power concepts on YouTube. I'm a permanent resident. Can I adjust my wife's status to her or for her to live with me in the U.S. at the moment, even though she's awaiting her immigrant visa interview in the Caribbean? She's, it's taken a while. Uh, you can't just say she'd get on a plane, but you can apply for a K-3 visa for the come year. But by that time, she'll get an immigrant interview. Lucia Anquilano on a YouTube came to U.S. under K-1 visa in 2-2-21 and got married to a U.S. citizen uh, 3 21 filed for a green card in November 2021. Ran away from my husband in 3 3 22 because of domestic violence. I have no green card. What should I do? File for as a vowel case. Salma Zaidi on YouTube. I'm on a pending asylum case. My case is in court. I'm an elementary school teacher in public schools. My husband is in India. Can he apply for the tourist visa so that he can see us? He is not going to get a tourist visa if you apply for asylum. Carlos Bobadilla on YouTube. I married a U.S. citizen. My VAWA EAD expired in 11, 2020. My renewal was sent in 10, 2020. Up to now, I still don't have a receipt notice and prima facie expired 3, 2022 and no renewal yet. Is this normal? No, it's not. You have a problem. And last one, Alam Aga on YouTube. I couldn't receive my seven-year-old son's green card until now. He arrived in the U.S. in August 2021, and I paid the fee in April 2021 when he received his visa. What can I possibly do? Follow up with immigration. I don't, I don't know what happened to the green card. Ask the mailman where it is. First, mm -hmm. ask immigration if it was mailed out. If it was... Then, you know, if it wasn't returned, then you got a problem. But it should have been mailed out by now. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.